Hey everybody, Casey here. I think we are getting this to work. I'm sorry, I know I said 5 or 7.30 Eastern, but I am ready, so I figured we might as well just paint together if I'm ready to go. Perfect, we're all set. It says it's live. Okay, let me just pull up these comments on Facebook so I can make sure I'm watching that and then we'll get started so here's the door hanger we're doing when you order yours it'll come wrapped just like this i have the supply list in the comment or inside the description for you on facebook i will post it as soon as we're done i am changing my colors up a little bit i went to walmart and i found some better colors um, for the sunflowers so instead of having to make our own yellow we're able just to use this other yellow so let me run through the colors with you guys really quick on what we're going to be using Okay, I gotta grab a paper plate, possibly. All right, hope everybody had a good weekend. Paper plate here, let's grab some scissors to open up all the paints. Hey, Carly. Um, okay. Maybe not. I will be using my teeth. My Walmart finally got a bunch of paint in. I've been stocking their shelves for weeks. And then look, I finally got the big Apple Barrel White, the big bottle. They finally had it. So, really excited about that. Okay, so here's Dandelion Yellow. I thought we could use this to do a little bit of shading. On, on the top sunflower and the back sunflower will do a little bit darker yellow. So I grabbed Golden Sunset for the darker one, which this one's really pretty. So here's Golden Sunset. It's apple bale paint. This is a matte finish and so the other one's a gloss. So with the gloss, I might have to add maybe a little bit of water to it if it ends up being too thick, but we should be okay. We'll see how it looks as we get started. Um... Lori should be hopping on. I think she said she's going to hop on and watch. So Lori should be coming here soon. Okay, and then I grabbed English Ivy Green for the stems here. So we'll be using this one. And it's just a darker green. Hey, Joe. What? Can you come open this paint for me? <laughs> I can't get the plastic off. It's too tight and then don't want to fuss with it anymore. This one too, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it off. Come on. He grabs it for two seconds and gets it off. So frustrating. <laughs> uh, so English Ivy Green. It's really pretty, let's take a look at it. Ooh, look at that. That is perfect sunflower stem green. I love it. And it's perfect on my pants too. And then I thought we could do a sky, which would be the summer sky. Hopefully we have enough of this. If we don't, I'll mix this with a midnight and we'll create like more of like a darker bluer sunset. And then I also grabbed Kelly green to put on the stems too so we can have two tone. And that's what that one looks like. See it with that red there. Okay. So instead of making our colors today, I thought I'd just buy colors and then that way we can um, kind of match it up. And then that way I can show you guys too how I'm going to do the darker on the main part and then the lighter on the other half, on the outside of it, just to kind of make it blend. So. And then I thought our welcome, we would just do black. But if you have another idea, I love to hear it. So. If you have another idea for our welcome on our fence, let me know in the comments. Just going to unwrap this. Hey Brenda, from Pennsylvania. Welcome, welcome. So happy you're here. Okay, everything's going to come as you see it. So here's your, and you can either do the sunflowers like this or you can turn it like this and really make it look like more of a sunflower. But if you wanted to, you could glue it. If you don't trust yourself, you could glue it like that if you wanted to. I like it how it's listed. So just like this with the sunflower top like that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take off these for now and we'll put those over there. We are going to be doing yellow so we will have to paint those white first and then we'll come in with our color. Okay. I'm just going to kind of take everything apart here. Same thing with the fence and everything. We'll do everything white first and then we'll come in with our colors. Okay. I'm going to do white first for our sky too. Family name boards. Is that like the cutting boards? If so, you can order it right from hardworkingmomstore.com. You just have to customize it and let us know what name you want on it. And they, those are, should be 20% 20% off too right now, I believe. If you need a link, let me know and I'll throw it out there in the comments for you. I got paint right on my fingers. Let me grab it for you really quick. So here's the link for this sunflower that we're doing now. And then let me grab the cutting board one. And then here's the family name cutting boards. I do need baby wipes. I should have grabbed those while I was at Walmart. Ugh. Why didn't I think of that? Dang it. I hate when I don't see those things. Lori, look at what Walmart had finally. The big the big jug. I wish I would have grabbed black when I was there, though I didn't even think about it. I should have grabbed black when I was there. I'll get it next time I go. Yes, that's the cutting board. Yep. Yes, that's the cutting board. That's the second link for you in the comments. I just listed, I just gave you that second link, Angela. So it's the one right below your comment. That is for that one. You guys remember how I told you guys, I was like, I bought all these new paintbrushes and I can't find them. Guess what I found buried underneath my bag today when I went to go look for which paints I needed and stuff? They must have fallen out of my bin, but I did find them. All right, this is just a regular roller from Home Depot. So we're going to go in with this white, even though we will be painting the sky on there. Oh. I just always forget the wipies. I don't know why I do that. And I love the wipey method, so it's kind of silly that I keep forgetting wipies. It's because I haven't been to Costco. I always buy my wipies from Costco. I am allergic to huggy wipes. They hurt my hands. They make, literally make my hands crack and bleed. I can't remember what, which ones you use. I think you use Pampers. Or which brand of wipes you're using. Now, if I was really awesome, I would take this big white jug here and pour it into my white one here so I could just use little squirts or an empty one of these. I'm not that clever, but you could do that to save yourself from wasting paint. I should do that. And you could prep all your rounds ahead of time, and I've thought about that too, especially now that the weather's nicer. I've thought about taking all my rounds outside and actually pre-doing this. But I kind of sometimes like to show you guys why I do this, because you can totally see a difference when I don't do the white, and then I try and add like a yellow or a blue, and it just doesn't look as vibrant. And I like my door hangers to look like they're fresh paint all the time. Like that wet look, I kind of like it. And that's what this does too. Plus it's really good for it to, to seal it with just some acrylic paint. And I don't do it very thick. It's just a really light coat over it. Okay. So there's our round, just light coat right over it, just very thin. 
We're going to do the same thing for the welcome. We'll come straight across. Again, because I'm using yellow on these, I just want it to be so that yellow will show up pretty vibrant. Now, you don't have to use a roller. You could definitely use a sponge for one of these, or you could use a paintbrush if you wanted to. I like the roller because it just goes on faster and it looks a little bit flawless because it's one smooth motion. It's not leaving any space. Oh, I lost the comment. How did that happen? There we go. Hi, Mary. Oh, Mary. I love you. Rollers are essential. I love the rollers. And I, that dollar store one, you guys, I counted it. I only got five door hangers with the dollar store roller compared to when I bought the Home Depot rollers. I got like 30. So I don't think I'll be buying the dollar store one anymore. I think it's worth it to go to Home Depot or go to your nearest like hardware store, paint store, whatever, and just grab nice rollers. But you gotta also make sure you're washing them correctly and taking care of them and let them air dry. I wash, I soak mine in hot water first for like a couple hours first and then I go in and do uh, Dawn dish soap and wash them that way. And I will keep washing them and scrubbing them until it rinses clear and I don't feel any of the paint, the paint stuck on the end of the brushes. That helps too. So this fence here, I'm going to leave it white, so I'm just going to make sure that I kind of do a really good job on this so I don't have to come back through it another time. So the fence we will leave white, so I'm going to make sure that this goes on really good here. sponge things see that's what see I was doing that too like I was buying because they can get the packs too but I clean mine and I try and go I try and go at least 10 but the dollar store one that I bought nope I couldn't even I, that last video you can totally tell that I was having issues with the, the roller it just was not good but I could see why you would I don't know because especially with you guys you guys are making way more than what I make like that's totally different if you're batching all these out and you can get new ones I'd do it me, I'm trying to be only painting maybe two or three a week. This sponge has been awesome though. This is the one from Home Depot and I went with the, you know how you can do the good, better, best? This is the best one and no joke, I've painted so many door hangers with this one. I just couldn't find it because I stuck it downstairs in our furnace room when I got done painting this room. I painted this room a light gray. And I used it for that, but for some reason I didn't put it back with my stash. I took it down with the rest of the stash. And 
I like this candle better. It's longer. It's just nicer. Just nicer. Did everybody have a good Monday? Felt like a Monday for sure for us. up the white fence part because I want to make sure that's good because we're going to keep that white. I'm going to take this and set this over here because we're done for that now. I'm going to switch spots here. Grab this. Here. Switch spots. Perfect. Let's okay, here is our Sky blue. Oh yeah, absolutely could do that. Baby white method and make it look like wood. I could even take um, the Elmer's glue and make it kind of crackle. I thought about taking doing the dry brush with it though, and taking the dry brush with a little bit of brown and kind of dusting it over on the edges. I just bought this blue too. Look at this really pretty blue. It's deep navy. We could do a super blue sky. Oh good, I'm glad you had a good day. The tape. Oh, for my letters? I usually do do that. I didn't do that today though. I just don't have baby wipes. If I had baby wipes, I'd do that, but I just don't have baby wipes. And I don't know, I don't know. I've done that with paper towel before, but I just don't know if I like the way it looks. I think baby wipes is essential. Plus, I have really good paper towels, and that doesn't help when my paper towels are just too good. Ooh, pretty blue. Okay. I think we're gonna use a sponge. Gosh, maybe we'll use. Er, dur, 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 dur. What do I want to use with it? I want another roller. I have like a nice brush right here. Because that fence is see-through, I'm going to have to paint the whole circle, so we're just going to paint this whole circle blue. Make it look like the sky. So I took my navy blue with my sky blue and made this blue. And we'll just come through and I'm gonna just paint this whole thing. I'm going to go different directions. added a little bit of water to my brush.
There we go. On the ground? Yeah. Thank you. What do you think of my sky? Is it too blue? It's perfect. Cool. Again, just to kind of spread this out easier. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's pretty blue. Okay, so there's our blue. I am missing so many colors here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's cute. It is a pretty blue, right? I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so the two blues is a little bit, one squirt of the deep blue, and then two pushes of the summer sky, and it created more of like this color blue, which it's pretty much what I envisioned. I was really worried about doing too light of a blue. I want everything like the sunflower and I wanted all the pop. Plus one of my favorite color combinations is navy blue and yellow. It's one of my favorite combinations. So kind of why I want to do it that way. Okay, I'm just gonna move that out of the way so it just dries. And then let me see how much I can clean up with this a little bit. I won't do it all, but just a little bit. See, another reason why you need wipes because it cleans right off your table, and then I won't get my arm covered in paint. Okay. All right. Okay, let's move on to our flowers and our fence. Okay, these ones I'm going to do darker. Or let's see here, how do I want to do this? I want to do these. Yeah, I'm going to do these ones darker. Okay, so we're going to come in with our golden sunset. Golden sunset. I got all of these at Walmart. They're all Apple Barrel. They were all 50 cents. 
Okay, and then we'll use dandelion yellow for the ones on the outside. Okay. And then we're going to use English ivy green for our stems. I had a big air bubble on it. And then we'll also use Kelly green too, a little bit on the outside to get the little green. We don't need very much of the Kelly green. You could also use caterpillar for this on the outside if you wanted to, if you like that lime green look. Spring green's kind of cute too. I maybe mix that one with a little bit of black if you're gonna do spring green, that could work. And then for our brown, we're gonna use, I just bought it, where'd it go? We're gonna use milk chocolate for our brown. I think I have chocolate sprinkle in the description. I think that's going to be too dark, so we're going to come in with this lighter color. Apple Barrel, if you find this video, can you please make cute pull tabs, helpful pull tabs for our paint? Thanks very much. Sincerely, all painters who are live trying to open tape with their mouth. Okay. How you doing over there on Facebook? Yeah. No. Ask <laughs> Facebook. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, we're just gonna come straight through here. Pretty, right? Perfect sunflower color. Okay. Let that dry. We'll probably have to come in and do another coat. And then remember I told you guys this one is a matte and it might get matte that for they dry kind of fast too and so when it gets to that point where it starts to like pull the paint and it kind of makes it sticky just stop and then do another coat don't keep pulling at it because it's just going to make everything worse so just try and do one fluent strokes with your brush and then once you get your paint on there don't keep trying to manipulate it just let it dry and then come back and do another coat. and do another coat on those. And then next we will do And remember I 
already mixed blue in my water, so I need to make sure that my brushes are all dry when I get it pulled out of that water because that blue will just catch on there. You can also text um, to 864-465-8401. If you text price, it'll email you that price, calculator, ca price calculator too. You can get it right to your phone. Or well, you can get it right to your email. If you don't want to wait for someone to email you back tonight, if you do text us price to 864-465-8401, it'll go It'll send you a link to your phone, and then you can just fill out that information, and it'll email it right to you. Okay, there's our center. My computer turned off again, and I want to be able to read YouTube comments. And I'm just using foam brushes. I bought these in a pack from the Dollar Tree. They work really good, too. You guys can see why we did the white first, right? To cover up all those imperfections and then come in with our other colors. It just looks better. means. Okay, let's come in now and do our another our other flowers. And there are lines right here for you so you don't get it on the leaf. Okay, so I ended up taking the dandelion and getting a little bit on the tip of the brush 
and then I'm taking a little bit of that golden sunset and I mixed it so it's not as dark it is lighter but that dandelion was just too bright Where are you going? Ready? Already? Oh my gosh, thank you. I thought I'd be done in time. Glad you were home today. Thanks. Yep, next one. Okay. Yeah, that looks so much better. All right, I like it. We're gonna keep going. Wait till you guys see this at the end. I just know this is gonna be one of my favorite ones so far. Mary, do you have this hanger yet? Is this one that you've purchased? Mary buys a lot of our door hangers. Oh yeah, he is. Extra. I think he knew I had a bad day though, so I think he's trying to be nice because he knew I just had a little bit of a mental breakdown day. Painting helps, so when in doubt, paint. He went on vacation to like he just a guy's trip um, over the weekend. That, well, it was bowling. They like had uh, my husband bowls and they had a national tournament for bowling in Reno. So he left to go to Reno on Thursday last week. So he's been gone and he was supposed to go come back today, but he ended up coming back last night instead because he wanted to save money on a hotel room. And he comes home, He, you guys, he's done this trip for, he's done this trip for years, like this Reno trip. It's like an every year occurrence. He has never once brought me back a present, ever. Never brought me back a present. Ever. He just doesn't think of things like that. Like he's, it, it's just the way his brain is. He doesn't think like, oh, maybe I should do something nice for her today. Like he just isn't programmed that way. Like, you know how us girls were always like, oh, she, my friend just deserves something. I know I'm a gift giver. Like I buy, I buy coffee for like Avery's teachers every now and then, or I'll bring him a drink and stuff, whatever. And my love language is gifts. Like I personally love gifts. And when you buy me gifts, I'm like, you really like me. Like you must really like me. But he comes in with this Dillard's bag and he's like, this is for you. And I said, what did you get me at Dillard's? And he bought me a, par a pair of Birkenstocks. I've been asking for Birkenstocks for like two years. And I asked for some for Mother's Day and I showed them online. And he's like, oh, those are really expensive. I don't think I can swing it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, which they are, I get it. It's like an investment. It's, they're expensive. And I'm not a shoe person. I usually don't buy things like that. Like, I would never buy them for myself. That's why I was asking them for a gift. And so it's the daffodil yellow. And then I, you can see it right here, Mary. All I did was take this tip here. And I came in like this and loaded it like this. And then I put this daffodil here. And the daffodil went on on second. So I did this one first and then came here like this and then just brushed it. And you can see that mixture here. So it's just a little bit darker than this. Or I'm sorry, it, it, this one is just darker and then this one's a little bit lighter with the daffodil coming through it. Anyway, he bought me Birkenstocks. Surprise me, he bought me Birkenstocks. Super cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna switch out brushes now. We're gonna come in with our smaller brush. We'll go back through and do those again too, but I'm gonna do our stem now. And this is the ivy green, okay?
Oh, that's pretty. Probably have to do two coats of this one too. And I am going to get the sides of this stem here. So we will come up through here and get the sides too of the stem and leaf. Side here. Same thing, I'm gonna grab the outside of this too. Okay. And I will fix that description as soon as I get done and I let this dry. I will go in and fix that description and update all these colors for you guys. So that way you guys do have a color list for this one. I'm hating that brush. I'm switching brushes back to this other one here. It's the same size, just different brand. There we go. Does anybody have any sunflowers in their yard? I would love it if I had sunflowers. That green is perfect too, huh? Yep, I think so too. Always, the replay is always there. The replay is always there. And we even go through and add the timing on it now too. So say you're like, oh, I don't need to watch the whole video. I just need to know what part she painted the stems or the flowers. You can always cut to that part of those flowers so you guys can see. And I try in the very beginning of the video to show you guys the colors too. So that way when you guys go to watch it, you guys can always see the beginning of the colors. But I do always make sure that that replay gets, is available for you guys too as well. I'm gonna have to touch up that flower. I kind of went over there a little oopsie. It's not a deal breaker. It should cover just, I should be able to cover it just fine, but. can hardly tell. Oh, I'm gonna turn this one more time so that way I keep, don't keep trying to do that. I almost stick it in the yellow every time. Okay. That was thunder. Did you guys hear that? Oh, there is a storm coming in. Well, I better hurry so that way it doesn't. The last two storms we had, 
it knocked out my internet which that doesn't usually happen for us because it's not like we don't get that doesn't usually happen and it's kind of weird oh this green is literally perfect you guys i'm like obsessed with this right now this turned out so good and i'm not even done yet i'm like eek i'm so excited I'm turning into Lori where she gets super excited about her stuff and does that cute little, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, you go around all types of flowers? Oh, teach me your ways. I'm really excited. I just went to Walmart and our Walmart had a really good selection of garden stuff this year. So I just bought some, um, I just bought some uh, boxwood. I'm gonna go plant it after I get done here. Okay, I'm gonna come through right here on this part of the fence here, and I'm just gonna kind of, um, I wanna show you guys what I'm doing, but I, I'm gonna kind of just do like a line right here like this, okay? Cause I think realistically this flower would just be like hanging up right against it. So I'm just gonna go right against it like that. Okay, and I'm trying to cover the sides best I can here. I usually don't cover the sides because I like that brown that brown look to it that they already come with. They already etch they already do the etching on the sides for you guys or the burn on the end. But in this case for this for the stem, I want to cover up any white so that white's not showing. So I will come through here and get the take care of that stem here. Okay. Oh, let me zoom you guys out. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you guys were so zoomed in. I know. I can't help it either sometimes. I think it's cute. I like it when you do it because then I know you really like your stuff. And then I just know what my text message is going to be at 8 o'clock. It's going to be, look how stinking cute this is. And I'm like, it is stinking cute. I watched you do it. I love it. It's a part of your personality. We do have retreat tickets left. Yep, if you need a link, let me know and I will send it to you. It's also in our email that went out and then we also have the Etsy class. Lori is teaching, a, it's going to be amazing on Etsy. So if you are creative and you're struggling with your Etsy sales or your Etsy shop is just not doing what you'd like it to be doing, you should definitely join us for the Etsy workshop. I'll be in there. I'm going to teach you guys about tags. Maybe some other things. We're going to go ahead and do another coat on these leaves here. And we're just going to go ahead and do it where I already have my brush. Normally I'd wait a little bit longer, but we're just going to go for it now. Okay, same thing on this end here. I'm just going to keep that going straight at that angle because I think that that's how that leaf would be coming. So I'm kind of just trying to make it how I would imagine it through my fence. Come back through and touch up this leaf here. Just needs a little bit of a touch up, not too much. Just pull that paint. Oh, that lightning is getting, or not lightning, that's thunder. I'm gonna take my foam brush that no, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna grab. I'm gonna, take I'm gonna grab this one here. We're gonna come back through and go over these one more time. Okay, so this is just the golden sunset paint. Okay, just golden sunset. 
and I'm going to come through here again and do another coat on this. I'm going to turn these leaves this time as I go so I can make sure all my lines are going the same direction. Okay? So I don't get any of those paint strokes on there for our final coat. Okay? And I am going a little heavy with this paint this time on this one. For our final coat, I'm doing it pretty heavy. Okay? See how much better that is with that second coat and it covered? First coat. Okay? Second. You can see how much better that is. You don't see any paint strokes or brush strokes. Okay? Gonna come through all the same direction. And I did load my brush a little heavier than what I usually do. just doing a thin coat on the outside. I still like that brown showing for the sunflower, but if there's a little bit of white on there, I'm just going to cover it up. Okay. Not very much. Go on that one, there's a little paint center there. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. I think I might do a letters like deep, super dark blue. Okay. I'm a craft geek. I am too. I miss it so much. I think I'm gonna make a wreath when I come visit Lori, just to see if I can still do it. So I think it's like muscle memory. Once you learn how, you just can't forget. You know what I do miss though? I used to make, you guys remember the burlap wreaths? Like I think some people still make them like all the time. I used to make the burlaps where you like, you know, do the tuck and pull, and then you like, like you go, and then you feed it through and you like loop it like, and they would take forever. I would just sit down on the ground where we were watching like TV and stuff, and I would just make those all the time. And sometimes I miss it, but I don't miss the burlap making me cough so much. Burlap used to make me cough a lot. And like, kind of make my nose itchy. It's a big reason why I started learning mesh wreaths was because burlap was getting harder to work with for my allergies basically to it. And then um, it got expensive. And then Walmart stopped carrying so much of that stuff too. And we didn't have a craft store at the time either. So, and driving out to Salt Lake is just, ugh, I hate doing, I hate going out to Salt Lake. I like to stay home. It's because I hate to drive. I like long distance road trips, but I hate like local driving, like with stoplights and stuff. I'm like, get me out on the road. All right, let's come through and do touch up these flowers now. Okay, so this is our this is going to be our mixture, our two colors again. Okay, I'm switching brushes again though because I'm scared about that blue. Maybe I'm not switching brushes. I was going to, but maybe I'm not going to. Oh, I'm just so scared about this blue here. No blue. Okay, so Mary, this is for you, okay? So I'm gonna take the tip of this in here like this. Okay, I'm gonna load it up pretty good, okay? So there's my load, and I'm gonna come into the dandelion 
load it up so it looks just like this. If I feel like I have too much paint on my brush, I can wipe it. And then I'm just gonna pull. Okay, same thing. He hasn't bothered me for a treat yet. Not normal. It is not normal for me to have a quiet house and I paint. I'm kind of digging it. I bet you guys are too. You're like, I can probably hear you better. This one again. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, you can't even see it. Ha ha. Score. I hit the outside of the flower or the outside of the leaf right here, but you can't even see it. if there's white somewhere I'm gonna cover it up okay I kind of did a booby right here a, a boo boo not a booby a boo boo right here so I'm gonna do this really quickly and just kind of fan this out here okay fixed well and then right here I did the same thing so let me turn this I'm gonna grab this brush here So right here, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see, because I make mistakes too, okay? I'm going to zoom this in right here. It's a shame you can't hear us talking to you. <laughs> what were you saying? I know. Do you know how that would mess me up, though? <laughs> like, if I could hear you guys talking, and then I'm like, oh, that would mess me up. All right, so I just kind of fixed that a little bit. It doesn't... I probably could have left it, but... Let's see here. I don't know if I like it too much. And sometimes you just have to, like, leave them, right? Like, sometimes they just can't be fixed. That's hard, too, for some. Sometimes that's hard for me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna fix that up too. We're just gonna come right through here and just fix this right here. Okay, all right. What do we're almost done, guys. Okay, I want to check on her background. I like the background. I'm going to leave it. It's that pretty blue. I think it's going to help it pop really good. Those look good. Let's do our welcome. 
I really want to do it black, so I think we're going to. Because I just want it to pop. Maybe we'll do like a midnight blue. Maybe I'll mix blue and black together and see what it looks like. Let's do the another touch up of these really quick with our brown. So this again is milk chocolate brown. It dried up on me, so I gotta put a little bit more in there. It took too long. I did not end up doing the Kelly Green. I think that that dark green looks just fine, so I did not use the Kelly Green at all. So you guys will not need Kelly Green. Okay. And everything took about two coats. The flowers were kind of like in between. I had some touch up to do, but mostly everything took two coats. done with that let's do our welcome I'm going to mix this is our deep navy and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of black okay understand what you're saying now so like that way like you could ask questions I get it hello Brenda all right here is a link for this fence for Facebook they're asking about it so let me pin that really quick and again I'll post a picture of this when it's finished and all the supplies yeah Kari's are conversation starter today. She's keeping everybody in the loop. I should have texted Z. I didn't even think about it though. That's too blue. I don't want it that blue. I don't like that. I want to do a black I think. That's just too blue. I want it like if it's gonna do it, I want it like a dark. There we go. Like it's really dark there. There we go. That's way too much paint, but at least it looks better. Haha. -ha. Okay, too much paint, but it's gonna be further. Okay, I'm gonna grab another crappy paper plate. Go buy paper plates at the dollar store, you guys. So that way when you overload your brush, you can. Do that. You could do the welcome whatever color you wanted to too. You could do yellow, you could do black, you could do pink. I don't know if I would do pink though. You could do, uh, I wouldn't do red either, but you could. You could do orange, orange might be really pretty. I'm like sponging it this time. Normally I use tape to hold my letters. I am out of tape too, and I just didn't want to run to Home Depot.
Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm gonna come through and I'll do a coats over it, okay? I just wanted to sponge it up first. My towel got leaks and walked away. No, it didn't. It's on my chair. Purple? Purple could be pretty. Oh, Angela. Well, I'm glad you caught this one. We're almost done. Thanks, for everybody, for hanging out. I know we've been here for a hot minute. Okay. And then I'm just coming through with my brush. And I just loaded my brush just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Just going to come get rid of those bubbles. Just a smoother... Smoother lines here. Okay, I am going to do the outside of this one though. So I will be coming through and we will be picking the outside of this. So Was it? Did you throw it back on free? No. Thank you. I know that would have sucked tomorrow morning, and I go to. Oh, I guess you wouldn't be driving the truck to work though. Um. Yeah, because they were playing music that could flag this so I had to turn it off because it was too loud. I'm almost done. I'm just on the letters right now. But my thumb got stuck right there. Oh, and that did pop out the color blue right there.
So here's our blue sky. See, here's where the fun happens. It's my favorite part. So this is facing more towards you guys of how it would really look. I guess we could have done these a little bit darker if we wanted to. I like it though. I mean, it's too fence door hanger. It turned out pretty dang cute if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm going to let this all sit and dry for a little bit and then I will glue it and how I glue it is I just use my hot glue gun with my wood gorilla sticks. I get these from Amazon and I got them in a pack. They're also on Lori's Amazon affiliate inside the comments so, or inside the description so if you guys need these. And then I just glue it on there. I haven't had any issues. Sometimes I will do like super glue for like the letters if I need to get into small places. I haven't any, had any issues. I do seal this, but I will wait 24 hours and then I'll seal it after I put it all together. And I just take a dirty, like an old towel and I dip it in that clear coat and I just wipe it with a towel. I just wipe everything like this, already assembled. I just wipe it all down. Well, thank you guys so much. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next Monday for our live, too, around the same time. Oh, pulling the string. Somebody emailed us a picture of that not that long ago, too. Um, I think there's, like, a string on there. It kind of reminds me of those party things. The paper mache things. That's what that reminds me of. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You guys have a great night. I will see you guys next week. And then don't forget, Lori will be live this week at uh, 8 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, possibly on Friday. We'll let you guys know. Make sure you guys join our text alerts. I have not done the craft sign yet. I have it right here. I can do this one next, next for you guys. Let me look. Crab, 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 crab. Is it the no crabby tunes? The no crabby attitudes. This one is that the one you want? Is that it? Let me know if that's the one that you're thinking of, Angela. Yep, makeup brushes from the dollar store. We have that crab one. I think we have a turtle one too. The turtle one's going to take me a minute, so I might have to prep that one ahead of time. But maybe we can do that one on a Sunday where we don't have to worry about time as much. So maybe I can come live on a Sunday and do the, some of these bigger ones that we have. I want to do these really bad. Look at these ones, guys. There's off road with a Jeep and a 4x4. And then look at this one too. It's keep calm and Jeep on. Aren't these cute? This is a 10 inch. The one that's I'm doing right here. This one is this size right here is a 10 inch. And I have to say I do like the 10 inch a, a lot more than the 18 inch. I've painted quite a few 18 inches. I don't know what it is about the 16 inch. I'm me personally as a painter, I'm way more comfortable with these this size. The 18 is kind of intimidating for me. But I'm a newer painter, so that's it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. I will see you guys on Lori's Lives this week. 
Um, don't forget about the Etsy class. If you guys have any questions at all, info at hardworkingmom.com. We can send you guys over links, help you guys find stuff in the shop.